is a lot different from what I envisioned. I feel like I knew the city much better when I used to live in the suburbs and visit Seoul. It's ironic that now when everything is at arm's length, I rarely explore out of my one kilometer radius. It shows that sometimes you need to take a step back to appreciate it even better. Just like your ex-girlfriend. Annyeong doobies! This is Doob Gourmand where I explore hole-in-the-wall hidden gems of Korea where the locals go to. This is episode 3, Korean Barbecue Edition. Imagine a mix between a museum and a hoarder's heaven. It's a string of antique stores that has relics from the past all the way from Joseon Dynasty. It's a shame that places like these are underappreciated, but as poet Robert Frost said, I took the road less traveled by and that has made all the difference. Enough with the nonsense. I'm hungry. Bingo. This is exactly what I was looking for. I already know this place is about to be good. Well, okay, is anyone coming or should I go in? I don't know. Is it just me? But I always recite what I'm about to say before I talk to servers in my head over and over and over because I have crippling self-anxiety. Oh, okay, the bell is here. Nice. I wonder if that's gonna be enough food. I'll order more later on. So one of the things I really like about this place is that it gives you a piece of pige, which is the pork fat. So you kind of just grease it with the lard. Honestly, I feel really hesitant about showing this place on YouTube because it's like my favorite Korean barbecue place and it's my hidden gem that I didn't want to share with anybody else. We're gonna put the oyster mushroom right here. And I ordered moksar, which is the pork neck, and it's super flavorful. And this is their signature menu. And also, can't forget about pork belly. <coughs> Thank you. 
Another thing I love about this place is the grill. It's steel drums with old school pressed charcoals inside, and you don't see it that much these days, so it makes it extra special. There is something visceral about the smell of grilled meat. It awakens our hunter-gatherer DNA where we would huddle over a fire with precious hunted meat that would be shared with family and friends. We've come so far in technology as humankind with a bottle of shake that can supplement all the nutrients we need for the day. But yet, the smell of meat is still irresistible and tantalizing to everyone. And that's exactly what I love about Korean barbecue. It's all about sharing. Food is as much about the moment, the occasion, the location, and the company as it is about the taste and nothing brings people together like good food. Oh, and these are the heads of beheaded garlic soldiers. Thank you. 